with your questions and uh, doubts, uh, doubt clarification. Uh, Narasimha, uh, I think he has a question. Yes. yes. Uh, thank you so much, madam. Uh, I am very delighted just because the way you have interacted and uh, given a very inf informative and also thought-provoking information for all those literature students. And especially, I am very glad that uh, uh, Dr. Raju sir, who was one of our uh, faculty when I was studying uh, in ALC. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah. really, I'm very privileged to have both of you uh, who have brought uh, the importance of a culture in learning uh, language and literature. It was really a culmination of uh, uh, wonderful thoughts uh, from Indian and Western cultural diversity is uh, exposed here. And uh, another faculty, I would like to be thankful and congratulate uh, Dr. Navin sir, who is also is very encouraging uh, literature and language skills. Uh, such kind of things would really enable many English faculties to make it more effective uh, for the development of a uh, youth in an uh, Indian scenario. I, as a freelancer trainer into communicative English, as well as uh, uh, soft skills, uh, I visit to many colleges Whatever all the people, uh, Professor Rajshekar Garu, uh, Professor Raju Garu, and you, Madam Vicky, uh, have exactly mentioned uh, are lacking in the colleges uh, wherever I visited. Uh, I try to cultivate uh, some of those skills that are lagging, and I felt that very honored with your inputs. It was a wonderful session. Uh, that was uh, happened even though whole night I was traveling when Mr. Uh, sorry, Dr. <laughs> Navin sir sent me a link. Uh, I was very curious to uh, attend the meeting and uh, it was really outstanding. You have a lot of uh, investigation taken place and I would be happy to be associated with all these people, whoever is in the platform. Thank you very much, sir, Raju sir. Uh, Vicky, Madam, Navin, sir, and all the faculties who collaborated with the Hindu College Department for making it a grand success. Thank you very much. Any more questions from uh, faculty side, students, scholars, teachers, and our own faculty from Hindu College? Please. Any more questions or any more suggestions are welcome. Yeah, please, Narsimara, please. So, uh, while talking about uh, subject oriented. When it comes to language development, uh, yeah. many of the students are giving priority towards their subject-oriented learning process rather than uh, language-oriented or literature-adapting skills. And uh, only people who are uh, kind of adapting to have communicative skills or uh, in cutting with a literature background are able to adapt to the skills, whereas most of the people are after software side and technical skills. As a result, uh, they could not uh, bring into reality the cultural adopting and uh, uh, like uh, being a human. The human touch is missing. Uh, so can you give us some kinds of insights where we can the technical students or the software people, especially in engineering colleges, they are into a mechanical way of thinking rather than uh, the human touch is missing in them, I felt, whenever I visit colleges. Uh, it is like a artificial learning. Can you throw yeah, us I, some light? 
Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And I, 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 I like to work with teachers who are, um, we, we call it content-based instruction. In other words, uh, trying to put some language and interaction into our teaching, no matter what the subject is. And I have a lot of engineer students, I mean, teachers who come to me and say, how can I make it more human? And I think um, that there needs to be more training uh, and more work on the content professor to try either to bring in somebody who is more communicative oriented or uh, just learn some ways of incorporating language into the content. I, I think that that's so important. Now, if they don't have time for it, then they bring in a guest speaker, just like I bring in a guest speaker when somebody wants to talk about Shakespeare. I'm not a Shakespeare um, person. So I'm going to bring in a, a, an expert, right? So some of these content, um, content based, uh, like engineering and um, history and, and those things, they're learning in English. They need to keep up their la language skills. So if they don't have time to learn about it, then they need to bring in somebody like me. <laughs> no, they need to bring in somebody who um, is trained in bringing in the communicative aspect of language. Because after all, language is, as we've all said today, it is a social phenomena. It is um, how what we use for expression. And, and even engineers need to express themselves. But I know it's hard, and you're right. And you're absolutely right. So uh, as professors, we all have to try to incorporate some language somehow into it so that it's not all mechanics. Does that help, or does that make it? Yes, yes. Thank you, madam. Thank Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. I'm Afrin. I'm a PhD scholar. And it's a wonderful session, ma'am. I'm really, the way you have expressed your insightness, it's too good. That like cultural okay. knowledge allows you to think in another language. You will be able to think in foreign language. That's what the beauty of knowing culture while learning language, I suppose. And there's no need for us to translate. As you said, exact translation can't be applied everywhere. So I have learned a lot from you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for saying so. Thank you. It's something I'm passionate about, and I just I want to I just, I just want it to come across. So thank you for saying that. Shanti Sira, Shanti, you're unmuted. Okay. Anybody else? I know you're all hungry for lunch, <laughs> and that's pretty culture. That's pretty cultural, also. But one thing is true, madam. Nowadays, uh, uh, in our undergraduate colleges, uh, a new syllabus is designed, uh, uh, which is more concentrating on uh, technical aspects related to language. Students are deprived of uh, I mean, literary dimensions. I mean, uh, I know, but if you read the, if you read the. If you read the new educational policy, they don't want it to be yes, so yes, technical. It is. Uh, instead of uh, concentrating on technicalities of language, yes, language is basically spoken. One can uh, improve his language by having a good exposure to uh, both language and literature. Uh, one can accomplish uh, uh, as far as his uh, uh, spoken uh, skills are concerned. But uh, concentrating on technical aspects, uh, I don't think uh, uh, it gives any uh, benefit to the students coming. Uh, that is, I mean, the drawback uh, presently, I mean, uh, uh, in our uh, education system. However, uh, as you have said, uh, language and literature are two two ways, are two roads that lead, I mean, uh, people to break through the cultural crutches. Only through literature, by studying the literature of various areas, various societies, various cultures of the world, people can people can become global citizens, taking through the cultural clutches, traditional barriers, etc., etc. But however, uh, really, your presentation, I mean, is wonderful, wonderfully great. Uh, thank you uh, once again. 
for uh, being with us. I, I, have a, I have a question for you, Naveen. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, so if, if students, even the technical students, if they begin to talk more about what they're learning technically so that they can express themselves, wouldn't it become more ingrained in them and not just academic knowledge or not? Certainly no, not. Certainly not. See, students who are not being exposed to speaking, whether whatever the language it is, they are not exposed to, due to this pandemic uh, um, time, they have forgotten their LSRW skills. They are just maintaining, the cell phone is controlling them. They are controlled by the cell phone. Cell phone is their content. Uh, there was a poet I didn't remember, sit and stare and stare and sit and watch the TV once. Uh, sit with the cell phone and spend the time with the cell phone for getting nothing, for getting nothing. Cell phone is controlling and monosyllabic words are, uh, are uh, have become the controlling factors of their lives. Monosyllabic words, mm, ah, e, 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 yes, no. <laughs> These are the sounds they are producing now. Almost very uh, uh, equal to the animal species. No communication at all. No communication at all. At all. Yes. Even people with the brain are unable to uh, communicate well due to lack of their exposure to language and literature. Undoubtedly, literature soul is uh, uh, very great. Uh, to create, I mean, accomplished human beings. Hello, sir. Can participate have any question? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, sir. This is Zakriya Salek from Afghanistan and a PhD scholar at the University of Delhi. So my topic of thesis is teaching spoken English through literature in the context of Afghan. So the question here remains, so far I face the difficulties and challenging there are number of articles and books teaching English through literature. But what I found in terms of reading, in terms of writing, in terms of listening rather than speaking, why this focus is very less in terms of speaking? But unfortunately, the time when I selected this topic, I was quite happy that I'll find the secondary data. But I faced a lot of problems, so I cannot find many uh, articles. Could you please suggest me books and articles specific in this area? Well, I would I would search articles that um, rather than just uh, searching for spoken English, more communicative type of of articles, um, and even um, I, I, even this idea of content based instruction means uh, inserting and fusing language learning into this idea of of teaching. So maybe you'll find some articles if you search those those areas. I'm glad that you're I'm glad that you're handling this topic because it is um, it, it needs I, I just believe that every subject should be able to be spoken about. <laughs> and it does it's not happening. And so uh, maybe you can change the direction of language learning to be more spoken. Maybe you could be an instrument in that regard. Means, is this possible, ma'am, teaching spoken English through literature? Because most focus is on reading and writing. But is that possible? I, I would like to believe so. I would like to believe even that engineering can be a spoken language. But it takes effort, and um, you you might also, you might also look at some, at some um, participative uh, action research papers. That maybe there's been some teachers who have tried to tackle this idea of of speaking um, 
anyway, um, let me, I'm just going to put my um, email address for my language center in the chat box. And so if you could write me, then I, I could, um, if I come across anything, yes, gee, I can send it to you, okay? So I am the, uh, I am the coordinator for a language center that we're just developing. So it's something new, but we're trying, it's not just for English, but English of course is predominant, but also Hindi and, um, and so we're trying to have some different uh, conversation clubs. But anyway, I'm the the whole basis of the language center is to make it inter it's to make language interactive, make subjects communicative. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. The same question goes to you. What's your response to this? Because yes, right. more uh, Dr. Raju. Yes, yes. yes, sir. Yeah. You you're asking me. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Uh, previously, we did not get this. We did not face this kind of uh, uh, difficulty. Uh, the difficulty is primarily with the challenges of the new generation of the students, where they 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 seriously prepared not to learn anything through educational platforms other than their loves, uh, romance, and other things. And it is the time, it is the time to inculcate the reading habit, analyzing the reading habit. Every student has to come up to the level of a critic. After all, what is criticism? To evaluate, to analyze, to judge, to bring out the best from what he has read and then sharing his views from his own point of view. Now, automatically, the spoken English comes through. But the predetermined strategies killing the interest of the students, predetermined strategies, strategies which are uh, uh, scheduled by uh, the software companies, private sector companies, they do not know the difficulties of the students at educational platforms. We the uh, teachers, we the teachers, we know the difficulties. What is their areas of interest? What is the areas of their difficulties? All these things we have to uh, introduce them and then update them. But the software companies and other companies are coming forward and they are putting forward before the markets what to be purchased and what uh, what not to be purchased, what to be promoted to English language and all. As long as they impose their influence on uh, educational schedule and strategies, I don't think we can achieve. But uh, we have to work out, especially use scholars like how to come out with uh, the theories and strategies to teach English literature and language, uh, to learning language through English literature, and so on, so on. I think you should. Uh, then I shall also update my information in this direction in uh, near future. And I would like to, with the permission of uh, Organizing Secretary, uh, Dr. Navin Kumar, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Professor Ranjish uh, Nomula, sir, from the state of Telangana. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Presenting himself from the beginning. Thank you very much, sir, on behalf of the organizing secretary for making this. Program. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Over to Navin, sir. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Rajesh. Sir, sir. Yes, sir. Joe, sir. 